Today we're tackling double weave. To start with, I'm going to talk about what double weave is and kind of give you some visual aids to picture it in your mind if, like me before, you didn't quite understand what it even was you were trying to do. And I'm also going to talk about some things that are helpful to know, such as yarn choice and things like that. So stick with me here if you want to hear about all that. If you already kind of have a grasp of what double weave is and you just want the facts, ma'am, then you skip to the next video. Disclaimer, I am not an expert. Not an expert. I consider myself to be mostly a beginner. So the purpose of this is just to help you get over the hump, figure out the basics of double weave so that you can then go on to consult the experts look up other patterns, and be a double weave expert. I am not one. I just want to help everybody else figure it out enough to get going because I know I struggled too. So with that out of the way, let's talk about what double weave is. For this purpose, we are talking about rigid heddle weaving. And specifically, I'm using an Ashford rigid heddle loom you are going to need two heddles of the same dent. So these are seven and a half, 7.5. You're also going to need two pickup sticks. If you don't have two pickup sticks, I have been known to use pieces of yardstick. If your weaving is small enough, you can use a paint stirrer. Get creative. It doesn't have to be super fancy. So essentially double weave for our purposes today is either weaving a cloth that is twice the width of your loom. You can also weave a tube. So let me show you what I mean. If you watched my video reviewing Red Heart Roll With It, then you will be familiar with this. This is the width of my loom. I have a little 16 inch loom, but because it's double weave, I was able to weave it twice as wide. So that's one huge thing you can do with double weave. You can also, spoiler alert, this is the beautiful project I'm gonna be making in these videos. This is messy, it's not terribly attractive, but it gets the point across. So once again, this is what it looks like when I'm weaving. There's the double weave part, okay? Top layer, bottom layer. Now the other thing you can do is you can weave a tube. Same principle, but instead of only connecting one side, you connect both sides and you end up with a tube. Okay. So that's the general idea. So now let me go over a few tips that I've learned as I've done them myself. Number one is yarn choice. Thinner seems to be better. Go as thin as you can go for the dent size that you have. For my sample in these tutorials, I used Karen Simply Soft because it tends to run a little on the thin side of a worsted um, and it worked pretty well. Also, this probably goes without saying, but no, don't pick a novelty yarn. Go simple, make it easier on yourself. Two contrasting colors helps. Also, don't buy, don't start with something expensive. Um, last tip, start small. You probably want to watch these through first before you actually try it. Um, you don't have to, but I think that would probably be easier. I go over everything multiple times from different angles so you can really kind of see what's happening. Also, I didn't want these videos to be a half an hour long. So I tried to move them along at a decent pace. If you find that they're too fast, you can slow down the playback speed. So if you find that you need to slow it down a little bit to kind of keep up and, and weave with it, you can do that. That's all I got. Grab a cup of something, move on to the next video, and hopefully by the end of this, you'll be double weaving.